When we think of estate planning, we often focus on passing down wealth. And that's an important thing to focus on, but what about passing down values? Today, I'm gonna show you about how a good estate plan can protect not just your assets, but your family's values across the generations. This is what most people overlook, and it's just as important. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to incorporate tools like ethical wills, family trusts, and letters of intent to keep your family's beliefs and values alive while ensuring that your wealth is also preserved. As an attorney with over 20 years of experience, I've worked with families of all sizes, helping them protect not only their financial legacy, but also their core values. This is a topic I'm passionate about because it can create an enduring impact on your loved ones. Hi, I'm estate planning attorney Mike Smith with Smith Barrett LLC, and I'm one half of the estate planning guys. So let's start by discussing ethical wills. Unlike a traditional will that focuses on who gets what and when, an ethical will is about passing down your values, beliefs, and life lessons to future generations. It's not legally binding, but it can be one of the most impactful parts of your estate plan. So why have an ethical will? Well, think about it this way. Your wealth may last a generation or two, Usually it doesn't make it three, but your values, what you believe is important in life can shape your family's legacy forever. So this document is your chance to share your personal experiences, important lessons you've learned, and even the hopes and dreams you have for your children and grandchildren. For example, you might write about how hard work and perseverance helped you succeed or share reflections on family traditions and the importance of community. You might explain why you've made certain decisions in your will, especially when those decisions might not be immediately clear to your heirs. It provides a deeper context for your loved ones as they inherit not just your assets, but also your ideals. And this is what nobody understands. An ethical will isn't about money. It's about ensuring that your family carries forward what really matters to you for generations to come. By the way, if you're finding this helpful so far, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more practical estate planning tips. Now let's talk about family trusts, but we're not just talking about any trust, we're talking about trusts with a specific purpose clause. And here's where everything changes. By adding a purpose statement, you guide how the trustee uses the funds in the trust in a way that reflects your values. For example, you can direct part of the trust to support charitable causes or to provide educational opportunities for future generations. Now stay with me for the next minute as I explain how these purpose-driven trusts can also prevent misuse of funds while fostering positive behavior in your heirs. So one of the things that you can do in a trust like this, and I've had clients do this before, as an example of how you can help to encourage good behavior by beneficiaries after you're gone is you can do things like include a provision in the trust that requires a beneficiary to bring their w-2 in to the trustee every year in order to receive a distribution from the trust and what that will do is ensure that your beneficiaries remain productive working members of society and don't just sit back and live off of the money that you've left them in trust so that's an example of the way that you can use provisions in a trust to foster the behavior that you wanna see in your beneficiaries. Now, let's talk about letters of intent. While an ethical will is about sharing your values, a letter of intent is a more practical document, gives your heirs or your trustees specific guidance on how you want to handle aspects of your estate. So for example, you might use a letter of intent to explain your preferences for how a family business should be managed or provide guidelines of educational or charitable decisions. So for example, if education is very important to you, you may include in your letter of intent that you want the beneficiaries to use some or all of the money to support their education. And even though a letter of intent is not legally binding, it's often used to give more personal insight into decisions that you've made and how you've 
put, put your will or trust together. And while ethical wills and letters of intent can overlap some in tone, the key difference is that a letter of intent focuses on instructions and actions, while an ethical will is about preserving your philosophy and beliefs. If you want to dive deeper into how ethical wills or purpose clauses can fit into your estate plan, click the link below to schedule a consultation with our team. So to wrap up, estate planning isn't just about protecting wealth. It's about preserving what matters most to you, your values. By using tools like ethical wills, purpose-driven trusts, and letters of intent, you can pass down not just assets, but a legacy of values that will endure through generations. If you found this video helpful, I've got another video right here on estate planning for digital assets that you won't want to miss. Click and watch to learn more about protecting your online presence after you're gone. This is Mike Smith with the Estate Planning Guys.